I don't know about you guys, I don't like working out. Uh, a lot of my friends, you know, don't like working out either. A lot of them love working out. Those people, this rule is not for you. Uh, but work out every day. So about two, three years ago, during COVID, I was like struggling to do these like two or three time a week workouts. And I, what I found was like, I was listening to this voice in my head, which is like, oh my God, you've had a long day. You have so much to do tonight. There's a million emails to reply to. Why don't we skip working out today and we'll do extra tomorrow? And that little lie, right? I started negotiating yeah. with myself. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> totally. You're right. That sounds great. Why don't we skip today and I'll do an extra 20 minutes tomorrow? Tomorrow rolls around and that little voice is like, oh man, I got you yesterday. I'm going to get you today. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I just created this rule and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to work out every day and see what happens. And that doesn't mean I have time for a 90 minute workout every day or even 60 minutes. So I reduce the duration or scope of what I'm doing, but I do it every day. It might mean I go to the gym and do squats. It might mean I just go for a little run. I do something that sweats every single day. And since I've done that, it's been so powerful because that little voice in my head doesn't say, should we work out today? You've got a lot to do. It's like, how do I fit this in? And what is the duration and scope of how I fit it in? And that conversation helps the best version of me get what I want out of life. And these things are just so powerful, right? I have all these little automatic rules. Like if I'm out with business colleagues, I stop drinking at nine o'clock. Nothing good happens at nine with people that aren't your friends. <laughs> you know, I invest in an index fund every month. Uh, I don't have meetings usually until 12 o'clock in the day. Uh, why? Because my rule is I don't have meetings. I mean, there's violations of that rule on occasion, but I want the best time of my day, which for me is the morning, reserved for the biggest opportunity that I have. And that opportunity, one of the reasons that we don't focus and we don't get the outcomes we want is that we don't have the time for our priority. We're always searching for this time. Oh, I know what's really important, but I don't have time to do it. Well, it's like, well, why don't we block off time every day? And I know a lot of people are probably listening to this going, oh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to block off till noon? Well, I started doing this when I worked at an intelligence agency. I didn't block off till noon because that would have been impossible. First, I started with 15 minutes mm -hmm. and I just gradually expanded it. You look at my calendar. I was going out six months, but I was booking a meeting with myself six months out. And I'm like, okay, from 8.30 to 9 every day, I don't have meetings. So I start booking. And then I would go from 8.30 to 9.30. And I would gradually just increase the time the further I got in the calendar. And then lo and behold, when this time ran, came around, I'm like, oh, I got this free time. And I can start doing these things that I, I really know I need to focus on. But I don't have to find the time so that my outcomes started to improve. And then we started to do it as a team because I'm like, well, if this works for me, I bet you it works for other people. And with it being a rule, you don't have to draw on your willpower and decision making each and every time someone goes to try to schedule a meeting with you, each and every time someone pushes back on your morning. Yeah, totally. 